You know, the longer we do this, I think it gets interesting that the uh, taller this all gets. This is like what the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, seventh, one point twenty one snapshot type video which hello everybody my name is freebie and it's wednesday my dudes it is snapshot time so welcome to snapshot 24w 13a and this is actually kind of a big one and i think i'm gonna go through the change log in the video as we're going instead of at the end like i typically do so let's start with some fun changes to the mace Looking directly at the change log, we have some things from the mace. Added a new explosive particle effect to ex when executing a smash attack with the mace to really show the player's power, which is pretty cool. I haven't looked at that yet, though, but that sounds pretty cool. Uh, increase the power and range of the knockback effect, which is awesome, because who doesn't want more of that? Introduce an even stronger knockback when falling for more than five blocks before attacking. Sweet. We'll definitely have to tr test that out. Uh, when successfully striking a target, all vertical mo mo vertical momentum can't talk today will be reset in addition to negating any accumulated fall distance the baseline additional damage dealt by the base mace smash attack has been slightly reduced to three one and a half hearts per fallen block these existing enchantments can now be applied to the mace mending unbreaking smite bane of arthropods fire aspect curse of vanishing three new enchantments have been introduced that are unique to the mace so let's take a look at density real quick density is a common enchantment which you can get from the enchantment table and uh just enchanted books you can do up to density five and maces enchanted with des destiny i keep wanting to say destiny with density do more damage per fallen block per density level so for each level you get like um increased by one per extra density so like if you had density five that'll do like what an extra five damage is there anything like readily available around here that i could easily jump off and uh, kill no so sheep i know this is a bad example but i also kind of want to just see the uh new smash particles or whatever oh Right, there was a small snapshot last week where they added some, like, was it last week? I don't remember, but they added advancements and stuff, so that's pretty cool to see that. So the next enchantment is called Breach. It's a rare enchantment, which you can get from the enchantment table and enchanted books. It has four levels, and maces with Breach reduce the effectiveness of armor, which is pretty cool. So if you're attacking things like mobs or players with armor, Breach level four is going to effectively reduce it by, oh no, math. It should effectively re reduce the armor by like 16% if you're on breach four. So we do have breach right here. It's, I don't really have anything to show it on really because I'm not fancy with commands and I don't know how to summon things with armor and whatnot. So blah, 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 blah. This one is the last one wind burst is definitely i think the most interesting of the three unique it's a unique enchantment that can only be found in ominous vaults we'll get back to that later it has three levels and maces enchanted with wind burst will emit a wind burst upon hitting an enemy launching the attacker upward and enabling the linking of smash attacks one after the other so basically this is just like a like a like a fighting game combo enchantment which is pretty cool uh each level will bounce the attacker higher up in the air which is pretty pretty give me give me give me pretty cool uh sheep that was cool and you don't even need to like fall to do like the wind charge which is pretty cool so there's three new enchantments for the brand new mace uh, let's see. Breeze and wind charges. The breeze now avoids jumping into dangerous blocks or air. Uh, wind charges no longer collide with end crystals. That's pretty cool. Now, this is going to be interesting. We have ominous events. 
Bad Omen has been expanded to give an optional experience in Trial Chambers. The optional experiences accessed through Bad Omen are now known as Ominous Events. They're more challenging than usual and designed to shake up, like, shake up the gameplay, which is pretty cool. Illager Raids are an example of an existing Ominous Event. Bad Omens are kind of changing, you're going to get some new things and whatnot, and raids aren't triggered immediately after entering a village anymore. Uh, your um, Ominous Event or whatever will be changed into a Raid Omen variant uh, after 30 seconds, and once the Raid Omen expires, then the raid will stop. And you can still get rid of it by, like, you know, drinking milk or waiting and stuff to make it get rid of that whatnot. Uh, it's no longer given to players to defeat a raid captain outside a raid which is pretty cool. Now we don't have to worry about, you know, having to like burn raid captains to death to not get omen instead of, you know, just slicing and dicing with our swords. Uh, instead, players can gain access to bad omen by consuming a new ominous bottle, which these in this barrel are the ominous bottles. There's th four, five different kinds, one for each level of bad omen. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. And like how Bad Omen has worked before, it'll last for an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, let's see, they come the five variations, one for each Bad Omen level. They, the bottle breaks when consumed, and they can be stacked up to 64. They can be found uncommonly in any vaults that are unlocked with trial keys and dropped by raid captains. So technically, you can still get Bad Omen from defeating raid captains, but it doesn't apply automatically. You just get the bottle. So with your potion of Bad Omen or what, what, what is it called? I already forgot the ominous bottle. If you go into a trial chamber, you can get a new ominous event, ominous trials, which are just stronger, more powerful trial spawners, basically. So this is just a variant of the bad omen. It occurs when a player is within detected, uh, within detection range of, of a trial spawner that is not ominous. The trial omen has a duration of 15 minutes multiplied by the, uh, the, the, the bad omen levels. Players that have trial omen are surrounded by ominous particles oh okay so this is kind of a smaller one but i think we can oh okay maybe it's a bit bigger than i thought it was all right so let's just minecraft trials edition that's really funny because that's a play on what i assume is both you know the trial edition of minecraft and maybe like trials like the the bike game or whatever that's that, that's cool if that's how it is Okay, so we are in a fresh world with the trial chambers and the ominous bottles. Let's go ahead and chug this real quick. Ooh. That was an interesting noise. So let's just go find a spawner and see how this works. Because I honestly have no idea. Is this a new room design? I don't think I've ever seen this fountain before. That's cool. Uh, so... Oh. Oh, it's blue now. So, I assume now that it's blue, this is what makes it the um, ominous spawner. And this is a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That child has armor on. Okay, this is... This this is a lot. Alright. Get out of here. Why is... I don't like babies. I don't like babies. I don't like them. I do not like them. Uh, where'd the bogged go? I didn't kill them all, did I? Hey, how's it going? Get out of my way. Lots of slimes, which is good. Oh, why did you erupt into cobweb? You know, that's probably... I think that's deeper into the change log that I just haven't read it yet, so I'm not sure what that's about yet. Um... Hi, slimes. Potions are you potions. I don't know where these potions are coming from. Um. Okay. Okay. So there's an ominous trial key. We'll get back to that in a second. Oh, steak. That, that's it. It just gave me a bit of steak. A regen potion. Is there one up there? That's interesting. That I can hit it from all the way down here. They must have added some new rooms to the trial chambers at some point, because I don't recognize all these rooms. Like, that little room? Don't recognize that. That's cool, though. But that's kind of how the uh, the ominous 
things work. I don't know what weaving means. And Trial Omen continues for another 13 minutes. So I assume any, like, Trial Spawner I get close to is going to become, like, the ominous variant or whatever. What is that? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what that is, and that's very, very weird. So, actually looking at the ominous trial spawner here in the change log, it's a more powerful, active phase of the trial spawner with unique challenges and rewards. Uh, gives more challenging experience to advanced players, which, as I would say, a more advanced player, that makes me excited. Uh, if a trial spawner detects that a player has the trial omen effect, the spawner will become ominous if... It is not on cooldown, or it is in cooldown, but not was not ominous during its last activation. Making it ominous will bypass the cooldown. That's pretty cool. Uh, while active, it w it will glow blue, emit soul flames, and very commonly spawns mobs with equipment if they can wear it, which is cool and more challenging. Uh, the equipment these mobs can wear have armor trims applied to them from the trial chambers. Uh, known issue. These mobs can currently drop their equipment on death, but they will not in the future. Good to know. I don't... Did, did they drop... Oh, yeah. I got a few... Uh, let's see, I got a couple bolt chain helmets. Oh, but if you combine them like that, they lose the bolts, which is kind of sad. Uh, periodically spawns potions and projectiles on top of unsuspecting players and mobs. Uh, based on their location, spawners in the area will select a random set of projectiles to spawn. These projectiles will always include a single type of lingering potion from a set of possible effects. Uh, becoming ominous will despawn any existing mobs it spawned and reset its challenge. It will stay ominous until it has been defeated and its cooldown is finished. When defeated, it will eject a different set of loot to the normal trial spawners, which is where we got the ominous trial key from which is a new variant of the trial key, which can only be gotten from doing the ominous trials, and it can use, be used to unlock the ominous vaults. There's a lot to go through. I know, this is a big one. Uh, ominous vaults are a variant of vaults that have a different texture and emit soul flames instead of normal flames. They can be found throughout the trial chambers in harder to find places and require an ominous key to open it. So that's gonna be what we're gonna do next, is find one. You know, I didn't have to look far. I did kind of spectate my way in here, but this, th this is it. This, this right here is just an ominous trial key. Will you stop it? I don't know what weaving does, but I think I saw something about weaving in, in uh, the change log. So we'll look at that in a minute. So let's throw one of these in here and let's see what we get. Slowness. Ooh, a full on iron block. And something else. I didn't see what it, it give tough brick. No, I, I broke the tough brick. Let me uh let me spawn in some more of those uh trial keys and let's just go look for a few more and see what we can find. Here's one. Let's slap a key. What is that? What was that? Now why can't I open you? You're just a normal vault. I knew that. Whoops. <laughs> that is the ominous vault. So let's slap that in. Banner pattern, some more arrows, and a diamond axe. That's a flow banner and an efficiency two unbreaking two diamond axe. That's not bad. This confuses me. What is this supposed to be? Oh, that's a spider face. What? Is there like something behind this? No. It's it's just a spider face. That's Okay. Okay, let's do one more and then we'll be done with this. Armor trim, emeralds, wind charges, arrows, a book. Knockback 2. What are, what are these arrows? Arrows of slowness. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, okay. So here we are. Mob effects. The following effects have been added. Wind charged. Effects, affected entities will emit a wind burst upon death, brewed with an awkward potion and a breeze rod. 
Huh? New potions? Who dis? I guess it's not really gonna work on me. I need to hit it. I need to hit something with it and then kill it, I guess. I've found my target. Come on. Definitely hit it. Oh! Interesting. Uh, weaving. This is one that I was being hit with in the trial chamber. Affected entities will spread cobweb, cobweb blocks upon death. Non-player entities with this effect can walk through cobwebs at normal speed. Brewed with, co with awkward potion and a cobweb block. Potion of weaving, huh? I'll be the judge of that. Oh, yep, there's one right over there. Interesting. So, in theory, it takes a cobweb to make it, but do you always get one cobweb back, or do you get more than one? Okay, so that one, I don't even... That one didn't even spawn one. Here, let me get a... Get a sword and try killing it. Maybe the mace is having some unintended effects? Okay. Oozing. Affected entities will spawn two slimes upon death, brewed with an awkward potion and a slime block. I'm running out of things to, to test on. I'm, I'm sorry, horse. Oh, wow. Okay, made two medium slimes. That's not bad. Now, what if I hit a slime with a potion of oozing? It didn't do anything. That 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 make that makes sense. I can't, you know, just keep making medium slimes with medium slimes. That makes a lot of sense. Infested. Affected entities have a 5% chance to spawn one to two silverfish when hurt. Interesting. Infested potion chicken. Chicken. Pig. Come on. Spawn silverfish. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Nope. Okay. Come on, you little pig. Yeah, there you go. Silverfish. That... Ooh, that's going to be a rough one because I hate silverfish. Uh, these effects can be encountered while taking on ominous trial spawners. Some mobs are immune to these effects. Slimes are immune to oozing. So, okay, that's that, that that's what I thought down there. Uh, trial chamber loot. The loot found within trial chamber vaults has been adjusted. Standard vaults give slightly less items of high quality, but also include the following changes. You can get ominous bottles one to two. Flow banner pattern, flow armor trim, uh, and heavy core can no longer be obtained. Interesting. Do those come from the ominous vaults now? So... Interesting. Uh, the custom banner pattern and bolt armor trim remain exclusive to standards. In the heavy cores plates, standard vaults will now instead have a very rare chance to provide a trident. Interesting. Ominous vaults can provide some particularly valuable items. Uh, ominous bottles, uh, level 3 for 5. Enchanted golden apples, flow banner pattern, and flow armor trim. Uh, wind burst, breach, and density enchantments, and heavy cores. Uh, the loot ejected from trial spawners has been adjusted. Uh, it, it now has a focus on providing higher quality food more often to make replenishing but fights more safe. Uh, ominous trial keys have a 30% chance of ejecting from a defeated ominous trial spawner, replacing the usual 50%. That's cool. Uh, trial spawners, all spawners now increase the amount of mobs present at once by 0.5 for an additional for each additional player, down from two. Baby zombie spawners now only have two mobs present at once for its baseline, down from three. Can now only activate when a player is in line of sight. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of, like, tactical changes, which I don't really understand or, honestly, care about. Because I don't really understand the technical stuff. In that sense, anyways. Who boy, this is a long one. I I, haven't, I don't think I've ever done a snapshot video this long, but there was a lot to look at in this one with all the with like all the changes and whatnot. I do actually, while we're here, I do want to see how the whole uh, the whole bad omen thing works in with raids now. 
So, you down that. You go into a village, which I just happen to be next to one. So it turns into a raid omen five, and after 30 seconds... Oh, I like the particle. The little red skulls that come off. So at, if you're still in the village after the 30 seconds, then the raid triggers, and then you've got a level five raid going on in here, which I, th I think that's how it works, if I read that right. The villagers have no idea that they're about to be decimated. And then a raid has begun. Where are they coming from? Just out of curiosity. Uh, the bar's still falling, so we don't know where they're coming from. Now look at them panicking down there. They're panicking. They know what's happening. I've brought I've brought death and destruction to the village. They're ringing the bell like you should. You should ring the bell if you want to see more videos in the future. Here they come. They're charging. And since it's a raid level 5, we are just going to, you know, let them handle themselves. But that's basically it for Snapshot 24W13A. If you enjoyed, please do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon, just like the villagers did at down in the village. If you want to see the, my next video when the next snapshot comes out, or any other video I do, or live streams, because I want to get back to doing live streams on the regular. So, thanks again. My name has been Freebie, and I will see you and whatever I end up doing next. Bye-bye.